reading from a commentary on the Psalms by John Fisher, Bishop and Martyr. First God freed Israel from the bondage of Egypt by performing many signs and wonders. He permitted them to cross the Red Sea dry shod. He fed them in the desert with food from heaven in the form of manna and quail. When they were suffering from thirst, he produced an ever-flowing spring of water from the hardest rock. He gave them victory over all the enemies who made war against them. He forced the river to flow backward for a time. He divided the promised land and distributed it among them according to the number of their tribes and families. Yet even though he treated them so lovingly and generously, the Israelites were ungrateful and seemed forgetful of all this. They abandoned the worship of God, and more than once they were guilty of the abominable sin of idolatry. Then he also took pity on us when we were pagans who went off to mute idols wherever we were led. He severed us from the wild olive tree of paganism, and, breaking our natural branches, he grafted us onto the true olive tree of Judaism and made us share in the root of his grace and its richness. Finally, he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, an offering and a sacrifice to God in a fragrant odor, that he might redeem us from all our iniquity and cleanse for himself an acceptable people. Now all these things are not merely certain arguments, but also clear proof of his deep love and kindness for us. And yet we are the most ungrateful of men. Indeed, we have gone beyond the grounds of ingratitude. We give no thought to his love, nor do we recognize the extent of his kindness to us. Rather, we reject the one who lavishes so many favors and even appear to despise him. And the remarkable mercy that he has continually shown to sinners does not move us to form our lives and conduct according to his most holy command. Clearly these things are worthy to be written down in the second generation, so as to preserve their memory forever. Thus all who are still to be counted among Christians will know the great kindness of God toward us and never cease singing his divine praises.